Welcome to another episode of Ask Carolyn Anything. The other day, Larissa posted on a contest I shared from uh, one of my favorite companies, Branding and Buzzing. They're working on another foodie giveaway here in the Toronto area. And it is a Rafflecopter contest, and she was having a little trouble doing it on her phone. So basically, uh, Rafflecopter works different on your mobile apps, um, whether it be on a tablet or a phone, than it does on a computer. Now, as one of Rafflecopter's ambassadors, I do know that I'm just waiting on a beta uh, to test a new version that can solve some of these problems. But in the meantime, there are thousands and thousands of companies out there and bloggers that are still using the app, um, the widget as it is. So I am going to show you using uh, my iPad. However, uh, it does make the video a little wonky as I zoom it in and out and the light changes. So be a little patient, but I will show you how to use it and it's going to be very helpful. So here on my iPad, you can see the contest that I shared on my Facebook wall. So you would click it, just tap the picture, sorry, tap the link in the picture, and you can see the page is loading, sort of. Hey, yay, awesome fast Wi-Fi, right? And so you will see that it comes up looking like that. You can see you can win two tickets. Isn't that fun? So you can see that the options you have are to Facebook login or to use your email. Now, I personally like to uh, use my email. So I will tap it and I will type in my name and um, email. Let me just put that in here because I'm going to show you, this is showing you in real time how you would be entering a raffle copter contest. Any one, this just doesn't have to be this one, one that you would find on any blog or website because it is a very popular product uh, to use. And of course, for some reason, I don't have autofill set up on this tablet, so I have to manually type everything out. So long, once I'm in, Rafflecopter now remembers me. So if I go on another promotion on this tablet, it will recognize me and I won't have to log in again. But you can see the first two options are to tweet about the giveaway and follow the sponsor on Twitter and then it'll unlock more. Now this is where people are getting stuck, okay? So I'm gonna quick, click on tweet about the giveaway. This is also what uh, Rafflecopter is working on fixing. So you will see that I get the option to tweet and then they want me to copy the URL. It's easier to do on a computer than it is with your uh, tablet. So I'm gonna click tweet and you will see that it comes up like with a tweet and I have to log in as me. So I'll type in my username and password. And now this is a little slower than I would do it on my own just because I'm showing you step by step with how to do it. But if I was doing it myself, let's say I was waiting um, somewhere to get a haircut at the doctor's office, uh, waiting for a bus, and I was sitting there on my phone, my mobile device. Uh, I would be doing this much faster. And once you get the hang of it, so now it tweeted it out. So now here's where people are getting stuck. So I tweeted it out. Now it wants the URL. Now what do I do? And that's where people get stuck. So I have to go to Twitter. You have to go to Twitter. Oh. You know, this this is like velocitizing. You think you're fast. And okay, so I go into Twitter and I click on my profile. And I get my profile to come up. Okay, so there's my profile. And I have a pinned tweet for another contest I'm running. So always check my pinned tweets on Twitter. 
And you'll see that the second, um, the second tweet in is the one that I just did. But what you're going to see is your name or whatever your handle is, then your at sign, and then a number, which is when you tweeted it. For me, it was 44 seconds ago. So you tap on it. And now up comes the actual tweet. So what you want to do is, there's a really teeny, teeny, tiny arrow in the corner. Okay. And you'll click on share tweet via. Okay. And then you're going to see something down there that says, see the two little rings? like the second one in, copy link to tweet. Okay, so that's the one you want. So I copied the link and now I close that and I open up, go back to where I was. Now I'm just opening up again. Now this is a little cumbersome, this is exactly why Raffle Cop for fixing this because they've had a lot of complaints about it. So I open up the contest again and I select that section and I paste it in. So you just hold your finger over it and you can paste your tweet in there. And I paste and you can see that now it's in there. The URL of the tweet and you just hit I tweeted and you're in. Now you just have to do the next step, which is follow the sponsor on Twitter, following them. So I close that. I put in my handle here, you know, at Contest Queen. And I follow. Now it's going to unlock one more option, which is visit them on Facebook. Visit, of course I do that. I go back, I visited. I know the lighting's terrible, sorry about that. And I have my entries into the contest. So I'm in to win a um, listening and intimate conversation, Lydia Button Touch, and I probably just butchered her name. I would never be a news reporter for all the pronunciations that we have to do. But she is a best selling uh, cookbook author and she would be absolutely fascinating to listen to. So if you're a foodie, this is definitely the contest for you to enter. But that is how you do those simple um, raffle copter contest entries until you uh, until they update the system. And believe me, if follow me on Facebook and Twitter because I will be testing the beta version and be giving stuff away so if you want to be in on that and try the new format as soon as it's out be sure to follow me for more opportunities to win and i hope this helps you with all your future raffle copter giveaways on your mobile devices if you have a question send it to me at questions at contestqueen.com and i will answer them or you can tweet me or you can post it on facebook and then i will help you out so you can be a, be a better winner.